Hey, this is Kuro Kine, and um, I just read Naruto manga chapter 673. It was, it was like, this is like, the chapter itself is leading. This is already opening the door for like the last couple of chapters. And I think we can all see it here. Naruto comes in. Madara's Madara is looking at Guy's last gate. He's like the chakra's not vanishing. Naruto is like I saved him, and he was, and Naruto is beast, and he's attacking Madara. Well, Madara's still regenerating. He's not up to par. Naruto's still attacking him, and um, I'm just like, I'm just like the power, the power of that Naruto received this time is so huge. I mean, back then they couldn't even touch him. Now Naruto is just literally Naruto created some type of U-tone, a shuriken thingy. It was beast, and he threw it, and he was able to slice the whole tree in half. And I don't, I don't think people are understanding the mere level of Naruto's power with that Rasen shuriken, that altered version of. It. Guy using night moths, kicking when he kicked Madara into the tree, or when he kicked the tree, or something like that. He didn't even destroy the tree. Naruto's Rasen Shuriken cut the tree clean through. Madara suffered some extreme damage here. And Madara then, like, um, Naruto goes back to get Guy and give him to Rock Lee and Kakashi. And then you, then Madara, here's a tree. The tree and the ten tails talking about absorb me. And I'm just like, what? Like, I'm like, don't you already have all the tail beasts inside of you? Like, don't you already have the ten tails? And obviously, if this is one of those moments, and I think we've all seen it in any anime, or in most animes or most mangas that are that have an evil character, they're already powered up to the max. And the main character gets a power up. A major power up to match the level of the strong we do. So the evil character, so he doesn't get beaten so quickly, he pulls up another trick. Or he gets a slight power up. Or some he gets some type of power up. When he's supposedly maxed out already. And that's what I'm thinking from Madara. I'm like, you already have kind of, you kind of have, basically, the, you have all the tail beasts inside of you. You have the tail, the ten tail beast inside of you. Now you absorb in the tree that supposedly the other Juby. It says I'm Juby and absorb the tree. He absorbs the tree. And so, then you see oh, Sakura talking to Obito some more. Um. I know that you killed some, some friends of mine, so I'm considering you an ally. You know, Beto's like, you don't have to consider me an ally or something like that. Or something like that. You can consider me an enemy. And I'm just like, well... I'm like, I really didn't care for that part. Maybe I just... Maybe if you guys feel the same way I do, we don't care for the talking part between Sakura and Obito. I, at least I don't. I just really want to see Naruto fight the dark. Then Sasuke is with the second Hokage, asking him if he can transport to him. He's like, yeah, I can. He's like, but at this chakra, I can only teleport one person. Sasuke was like, teleport me. You can see the hole in Sasuke's hand. And, he, and then at the end of the chapter here, Naruto and Sasuke are standing side by side. Sasuke has Sharingan in one eye, Rinnegan in the other. And this is not like the normal Rinnegan, like Pain or Obito had. This was like, this is born with a little... With the little Sharingan commas or tomos or whatever, whatever they're called. This, and I'm just like, I'm just, I really want to see this go out. We've seen what Naruto did with that Rasen Shuriken cutting that thing in half. I want to see what Sasuke can do with it. And we've seen, and the whole fight between Naruto and Madara, when Madara used Limbo, Rengoku, or Whatever he used to beat all those tail beasts in one single move. 
He tried to use it on Naruto. Naruto dodged it. I'm just like, how do you dodge a blast that spreads outward? It's like, it's like Shinra Tensei, but on steroids here. It's like on steroids. And this was enough to this was enough to take out Tail Beast. Come on. And it's like you dodged. I don't even know how you dodge something that's every, that goes out in all directions. I just don't. Maybe I don't get Rimbo, Limbo, or Ringo, whatever that move was. I mean, maybe it's just, maybe it just hits the opponent. Maybe it's just an invisible force that just hits them. Maybe it's just not a barrier. Maybe it's just not spread it out. Maybe it just somehow just attacks them. But Naruto dodged, and I'm just like, this makes him stronger than Tail Beast now. On my presumptions, he's stronger than Tail Beast now. Because he didn't get taken out by the same move. And, um, if this is the power up that happened with Naruto, you can only imagine what happened with Sasuke. And, We've seen exact Sasuke has his brothers. Um, he has his brother Shine Gun. I mean, yeah, he has the Tomon Gekko Shine Gun now. Um, now he has the Ren. Now he has the Ren and Gun Shine Gun Fusion thingy. The only thing I'm really curious about with Sasuke is if you can have the Mon Gekko Shine Gun fused with the Ren Gun, because that would be beast. But obviously. The Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan is just a step down from the Renegon, and the Sharingan Renegon Fusion is a step up from the Renegon. And why does he only have it in one eye? Maybe I'm looking at it wrong, but why does he technically have it in only one eye? But Midar is still so confident he can beat them, and he said this would be the last battle to determine who's stronger. And I'm so this is like this is showing. He's taking them seriously as a threat now. And this battle, I'm not sure how long it's going to go. I can probably, my, my best guess is like maybe 15 chapters. 15 to 10 chapters, I think. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to end that quickly. And this is Naruto and Sasuke we're, we're talking about. It might be like 10 chapters. They might distract us with a couple of chapters of Sasuke. Of um, Sakura and Obito talking might distract us with Guy and um, Rock Lee might distract us with with um, what other people are doing in the war. And to this might be a titanic battle of proportions we probably never will ever see again. Cause I mean, come on, we seen what Madara did with the meteor thing, and he was able to nuke people with that. But now we see Naruto cut down the tree when nothing else could cut down that tree. With the Rasenjuk and of epic proportions, now we have to see what Sasuke can do. By freak sake, Sasuke should be able to use a fully stabilized Susani. It should look, it should be diff, it should be like it should have two legs, just like Madara's. It should be armored, just like Madara's. It should be humanoid, er, like Madara's. I just can't. I just wish Sasuke, if he can do that, that would be great. Um. That's all I have to say for this. Kudo Inu out. Like, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, and updates for people. I'm thinking about doing video game play commentary videos. Maybe like, I don't know. I'm just thinking about putting them up there. I've been, like, I've just been looking into that. I might think about doing it. Um,